I need more power. Okay, everyone, uh, this is morepower.com, and we're here with Babs Tarr, uh, who is obviously the new artist for Batgirl. And we're here at New York Comic Con 2014. So, first off, how's your New York Comic Con been? Your experience been? <laughs> Been fun. It was so busy, but uh, you know, our first, our, my first comic came out. Batgirl came out on Wednesday, and the comic started Thursday. So it's just been like a whirlwind of like interviews and signings and lines at my booth, and um, I can't, I can't complain. It's been really fun. Hey, you were actually recently on, uh, you know, Fox with uh, Jim Lee uh, oh for the you know, 75 years of Batman. How how was that? How was that going on? It was, uh, it was pretty nerve wracking. I was like really nervous, uh, but like they gave me the most softball question. I've answered a thousand times, so I was like able to like answer it like smoothly. And Jim's like such a, such a nice guy and so chill and so funny. And he's been doing this for so long, and uh, his like him being relaxed like made me like more relaxed. So that was really good. Okay. Uh, speaking about that girl, there's been a lot of you know positive reception to especially the redesign, and I've read elsewhere that for every character you do, you take into account you want to give her him or her you know, her own, own style. unique yeah unique style or fashion so yeah. for Batgirl what was the you know thought process behind that? Yeah um, so uh, for Babs I figured she's fighting crime and she's in grad school and that's going to keep you pretty busy so she's probably not going to be the most uh, fashionista of the crew so she has like kind of a tomboy style like comfy clothes but still cute but and stylish but um, She'll just more lean on the more like relaxed style side. And then she has a roommate named Frankie, and Frankie's kind of like loud and like really energetic, and she kind of has like more fashionable, like bright colors. And then uh, Dinah Drake is in the book, Black Canary. She doesn't suit up, but um, I figured she has this uh, like her superhero costume is like a leather jacket and fishnets. So I figure like she probably has like a more edgier style of the girls. So she kind of has, uh, gave her a lot of leather jackets and spikes and like, kind of a rocker type look. Yeah. yeah, so I take it you're, you know, big into fashion. Yeah, so. I love it. And I think that's one of the reasons I got the job because I like, I had that love taste level and they could use it in background and fit the tone of the story. Okay, if there was a one character you would want to redesign, I guess, who would it, who would it be? Um, I would love to work on... Uh, Captain, I think would be really fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and like, the Batgirl's new look is very practical. Yeah, it's still like really cool. Really, uh, there's been you know obviously a lot of you know over the past couple years a lot of change of uh, in the industry. Um, you know, making I guess female characters be more a little bit more practical. What do you yeah. what are your thoughts about that just in general? Um, I think it's great. Um, you know, you could tell that our design has like females in mind, you know, like I feel like the last one is very like male, male gaze service, you know, and it was really cool, but it was like, ours is like sexy but not sexual, like, like I feel like dads and stuff can like share this costume with the little girls without feeling like weird about it. So. Oh, it's practical but still feminine. So yeah, yeah, so. yeah, and I think it's great, and um, I'm just, I think it's struck a chord with our audience, you know, like as soon as the, we had like three pictures announced. And when the Batgirl announcement came out for the redesign and the new creative team on it, and it was trending on Twitter, and we crashed the Doc Martens website, and you can't find those boots anywhere, and I just think it, it struck a chord with our audience, and um, they really appreciated that. And I think, you know, it was like the right time to do it. You know, like people were waiting for this to happen. Okay, and I guess the last question is, what do you, uh, for, you know, for women who are aspiring to get into the you know industry, what what would you say to them? <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> it's like can't I don't know if you heard the story, but you know, Cameron Stewart had emailed me out of the blue. Yeah, yeah. And I had never done a comic book page in my life. And I just was making like my illustrations and um, I was putting them out there on the internet and he had followed me and uh, thought about me for the book and contacted me and I, I was kind of intimidated by the comic scene because I knew it was really hard to break in. It's a lot of work, and unless you're working for like Marvel or DC, the pay is not that good. So I was just trying to like do my illustration and stuff. And when he emailed me and told me, you know, DC, and I was like, okay, one of the big two. Like this is amazing. I was like, of course I'm interested. And um, he actually agreed to do the layouts for me at the beginning, and then I'm kind of learning as I go. And um, no, advice-wise, because I wasn't really even looking for it, but it's amazing that it came around, 
but you know, I just was trying to make work that was true to my heart and the type of work that I wanted to make. So I, for just an art, art-wise in general, I would just say, you know, make the stuff that makes you happy and you're going to get more work related to that style. Like, don't make work that you think needs to be made, like make work that you love to make so you can get more jobs related to that. Uh, it'd definitely be awesome to have more women obviously in the comic book industry. Yes. So. But thank you again for taking time out of your busy Comic-Con to speak with us. Yeah, thank you. And uh, yeah.